Hey you guys and welcome back. Today I have a little bit of a different video. You might see there's something wrong with my head. Well keep watching because you're gonna know what it is. Ta-da! Now um, I'm actually talking about two things today. One is a recipe and the second one is just something I've been trying. So I hope you will watch it. I'm sorry for my t-shirt. Yeah. It's my hair colour t-shirt because I can't afford to colour my hair at the hairdresser so I do it at home. And I'm going to take care of my body so I don't get like brown streaks everywhere because of my long hair. So yeah, watch on if you want to know what I'm on about. Have a look see. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And it smells. Yeah. So keep looking and I shall be back really soon. So what you need for this is a banana, some yogurt, um, this is non-flavoured, you can use Greek yogurt as well, and some olive oil. So I hope this hair mask works the way I'm thinking because I've never tried it before. It's just going to be an attempt for me. So yeah, let's just get to it. So moving things out of the way a little bit. And taking some, so I'm taking about a third of the banana. I might have to do more depending on how much this becomes because I got long hair. So we'll see. And I'm just, hang on, I'm going to break this in two and dump it into my mixer. Then I'm going to do. Oh my lord, Lily, you should have opened this before. Good girl. How about that? Coming unprepared. So, I like to stir up my yogurt because it is more liquidy on top than in the bottom. So I'm taking one, two, I'll do three tablespoons. Oops, sorry. Okay, whatever. Three tablespoons of yogurt. Then we do some olive oil using the same spoon. One, two, three. And I'm actually going to get a little spoon. Get a little spoon just to get everything in there. Because I want to get everything in here. And I am mixing mine up really, really fine because I don't want lumps of banana. I want it to be a smooth texture. Maybe this other way. So now it's going to make a lot of noise, but that's okay. You'll survive. So. Just be careful. a little bit more olive oil because that's the moisturizing part I'm just gonna wing it like one and a half spoon more but actually it does smell really good it doesn't look that bad and I'm sorry if you can see my onesie I'm just in that kind of a mood so I think that should be enough for one one go so I'm just gonna take some plastic wrap that's right wrap for my banana oh my lord so hang on like that if you can hear the knocking, I don't know who's knocking, it might be my daughter, it might be my son, I don't know. It might be my hubby, 
But you know, some filming, see. So. Right, that, I'm just gonna pop this into the fridge. Just because. And now, getting a spatula. Just so I can push all this down here. Because with the oil, it does really come off really easily. Of my, so it's not much I have to do to get it off here. But it's just easy to clean if I clean it. So before, just gonna put it away. So like that, this is my concoction. Um, like that. So it has like this, I don't know, jelly-like consistency and I'm looking forward to testing this and hopefully my idea isn't as bad as I think it is. But yeah, I'll be back once I put it in my hair. I actually want, I think. Yeah, we'll see. You'll probably see my hair after I'm done in the shower. So yeah. Now I'm gonna film putting it in. Sorry, I'm just so undecisive these days. It's just because of my head being stupid with me, but yeah. So I'll be back once I'm ready to put it in. Okay, so I'm ready to put the whole thing into my hair and I'm sorry for my manky looking t-shirt this is my hair colouring one and um, yeah I just wanted to protect my clothes because I'm not sure if it's going to drip or not so it's the first time what can you say and I took my rings off because the worst thing ever for me is getting gooey things underneath my rings I just go totally nuts so let's just get to it. I have my little concoction right here and it's kind of split a little bit but that's okay. I can see there are some banana bits left but that's okay. And it smells like mashed banana so yeah. Let's just dip in and get going. So I'm going to really get this into my scalp as well just because I have had a little bit of a dry scalp lately so I'm hoping this will help so yeah. and this was really really easy to apply I'm really surprised and really pleased since I never tried this before I just thought of it and And it doesn't really drape that much either, at least from what I can see so far. So I'm, I'm, what I'm really excited about to see if it works is my split ends because they're so dry. I've been like not bleaching my hair but colouring my hair lighter and I did an ombre where you do bleach and it just totally wrecked my ends. So I'm really looking forward to seeing if this is going to work. I'm getting it a little bit everywhere but that's okay. I'm going into the shower with my baby girl afterwards because she needs a shower. So I thought I would kill two birds with one stone. So just applying this. La -di -da -di -da -di -da. So I'm going to speed up the rest so yeah.
So now I've gotten all of it into my hair and uh, I should have gotten a fair bit into my ends as well as you may see. Sorry. And this is like all that's left. And you can see there's one piece of banana but there's like hardly anything left. So it was a good portion for long hair like mine. I do have shaved sides but um, my hair is so thick that it is basically as thick as like my sister's full head of hair and my mom's full head of hair. So yeah. So now I'm taking a hairband or hair tie that I don't really care about because it's going to smell and I'm going to have to wash it like a million times. But I'm just putting my hair up because I am going to leave this in for at least half an hour to make the most out of this whole thing so I'm just making a bun a messy bun to be literal as you may see so I'm gonna leave this for about half an hour at least and then I'm gonna wash it out and I'm gonna let come back and show you guys the results after we wash out so yeah oh why did you do that Lily now you've got icky hands and you have to turn off the camera Duh! Smarty bum. Okay, gonna have to put some water on just to rinse my fingers off. Like that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, uh, yeah, and one more thing I really wanted to talk about because I do struggle with combination to oily skin. I do not have a pure oily skin, but I do have combination to oily. And my really trouble zone is my full forehead and well the t-zone basically the t-zone so these parts can get dry during the winter i've never ever experienced dryness here during winter summer anything and i was testing out because when i put makeup on um it gets so greasy in my forehead that my makeup kind of creases and it's gone really quickly um it doesn't look any good so I just started testing out something um, give me a sec I started testing out this you can't really see what it is so but it looks like that this is actually potato flour um, or potato powder we use that on baby girl if she has a sore bum we use potato flour it's cheaper than baby powder and it doesn't contain any perfume so I thought hey why not I'm gonna test it on my t-zone so I used it it's invisible you have to apply it a little bit use a brush to get the excess off and it's invisible it's like a translucent powder I think that's what it's called, the translucent powder. Anyway, you can't see it, you can't notice it. It doesn't smell and it took away my shine, it kept my shine away. And you know what? If you're going to try it, test it out. But if you like me, I did this every day and I had dry patches on my nose. It's like holy moly what happened so test it out to see if you can use this every day if not you're gonna have to go down but it did cause me to dry up on my nose my forehead is even pretty dry of course I have like the oil and stuff up here but my forehead is like pretty dry I'm gonna see if I can zoom in for you guys uh, now you can see my monkey skin you can see this it's like no shine up here so yeah that was like the best thing because one packet of potato flour is like I don't know 20 Norwegian like two dollars <laughs> well a packet of powder like the, the powder for your face the colored ones or translucent or whatever is like everything from 
15 to 20 pounds so yeah and it did take so much that I don't have like oily skin on my nose so test it out I don't know if it's going to work for everybody but it's worth a try for sure so I shall be back once I'm done washing this grease ball of a head so see you shortly toodaloo okay so I'm out of the shower and I'm sorry I have my onesie on and I have like water allergies 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 so I get red patches when in the shower but as you can see my hair is like soaking wet still and I can't really tell if there is like a difference but it like it still smells a little bit of banana but that's okay by me it doesn't bother me so yeah gonna have to brush it out and dry it so I won't bother you with the lengthy process of drying my hair so I'll be back once I'm done hey guys okay so I'm back and I had a shower and I dried my hair um, and this is the result it is more volume to my hair and never mind my face it's horrible um, I do think as Nikki Philippi said in her um, video that your hair does get a little bit of a shock when you do things like this uh, things like this if you haven't like treated your hair so I think mine has had a little bit of a shock therefore the extreme frizz but my hair does feel better the ends are still split the ends are still nodding up even as I comb them so I can't wait to afford going to a hairdresser again but I have to say I do like the feel on my hair now it, it feels soft it feels easy to run my fingers through and yeah so now I'm just going to add in some Moroccan oil because I want to show you guys that I deal with some of my frizz with my Moroccan oil so just going to gather my hair to one side taking a little dab into my hair, hand not my hair, my hand then just putting this in my ends and I do it a little bit up as well like this like so and now I have a little bit left in my hands so I'm just going to run that through the top of my hair and you can see immediate result when it comes to my frizz and it smells so good so this is the result and I really hope you like it and give me my your thoughts if you try this so yeah I shall be back on Tuesday so I love you guys so much bye see you soon